that it called Rico. Like I didn't hear about that. You know, because I listen to tarot all the time. I listen to it all the time. You know, that's just my pastime. That's something that I do on my pastime. I just listen to it. Not all the messages apply. You know, but I, I like, I actually like just listening to it. So, and then there's one, one reader, Tiffany Intuitive, and she's from, and she's from New York. She's from New York too. So I was just like, I was kind of amazed, you know, I didn't know what, what it meant. She said a Rico crime, a Rico crime. I was like, I didn't, I didn't know what it was, you know? So then I'm, I'm a nerd. I like to look up information. Like I like looking up information and being informed and all this stuff. So I looked up Rico. What does Rico mean? R-I-C-O, cause Rico in Spanish, Rico, means good like rico like ay, que rico oh, like it's this good but it's used in the justice system rico like it's an american like there's no latin accent in there rico it's r-i-c-o so i looked it up i couldn't believe i couldn't believe the information that i found on rico crimes like rico what the fuck is rico i didn't know you know, I knew because this reader said it and it never dawned on me to ever look it up because, you know, it's law. I'm not an attorney, you know, it's something that attorneys would know about the RICO laws. Why were they passed? It's a law that was passed in 1970, 1970. Let me read it. It's. The Racketeer Influenced the Corrupt Organization Act, RICO, Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations, is RICO, the acronym is RICO, is a federal law that criminalizes racketeering activities and organized crimes. RICO was passed in 1970 as a part of an Organized Crime Control Act. In response to the growing threat of organized crime in the United States, I was like, oh shit. The law's purpose is to provide law enforcement with a framework to dismantle criminal organizations and to allow and to allow victims to recover. You know, I didn't know this law existed. There's a whole act for this, and I have been fighting for justice and I've been wanting someone to do something. I've been going to the inspector generals. I've been going to OCA. That's the office of administration. I've been going everywhere, but they're all connected to the corrupted government. They're all connected. So nobody's going to do anything. Nobody's going to care. <laughs> no one is going to care. I would go to the union and I would tell the union all the shit that's happening. And the union would just say, there's nothing that they can do. But I'm like, you're supposed to represent me. You're supposed to defend me. Like, this is wrong. And they was like, well, you know, there's nothing I could do. My, my union rep told me that, that he couldn't help me with whatever was going on. I was like, wow, like, it's all connected. They're all organized. So, and then it's like, there's no one I could go to. There was no one that I could go to that would help me. I would go to the HR. I went everywhere. I went everywhere and no one would help me. I ultimately resigned from the Bronx Supreme Courthouse. I resigned in 2020, but they still kept like fucking with me. <laughs> they still kept fucking with me. I'm like, yo, like what the fuck? You know, I did my nonprofit. I opened Leave With Love Inc. I'm like, you know, I feel better having my own business and establishing myself for myself, establishing Lead With Love, the nonprofit, and I trademark the words Lead With Love, like Lead With Love, like I earned, I, the <laughs> guy earned, I own, I own those words, you know? So it's like, no matter what happens in life, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna still be a loving, caring, giving person, you know? I'm not gonna let, people break me down because this was an a government organization and they were just fucked up. They were just fucked up to me. It didn't, it didn't matter who I went to. 
they all did the same to me. Let me read another one. <laughs> Part of the Organized Crime Control Act in 1970, the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, RICO. It's a whole act, you know? I was just like, I was like, oh my God. Like, it, it just made me feel so much better. Like, there's an actual law that is for the shit that I'm dealing with. I'm like, wow, fucking wow. But and then I'm trying to come for the legal system, the legal system, the justice system. How can you bring to light the crimes within the justice system? How? And then no one wants to listen to you. No one wants to hear where you're coming from. No one wants to hear what happened. What did they do? What's going on? No one wants, nobody fucking cares, you know? It, it, and it sucks, but whatever. Okay, it makes, makes it an unlawful practice to acquire, operate, or receive income from an enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity geared toward organized, no, geared towards ongoing organized crime, criminal activities, the underlying tenet of RICO is to prove and prohibit a pattern of crimes conducted through an enterprise, which the statute defines as any individual, partnership, corporation, association, or other legal entity, and any union or group of individuals associated in any fact, although not a legal entity. It's the government, it's the Bronx Supreme Court, it's the Bronx County Clerk's Office, it's the money that goes in and out that office, it's a whole bunch of stuff, it's the HR department, it's the Inspector General's Office, it's the OCA department, it's everyone, it's the union, like they're all connected, like it's a whole fucking group of them and they're all connected and nobody does anything, nobody checks, nobody investigates nobody does anything but what i have been doing is just looking at my own information my own law because i am taking employment law so there are laws that help the people and then you know and, and rico rico the only reason i looked up rico was because of, of a tarot reader said it because i listened to it as a pastime and then tiffany intuitive lives in new york too and she was like oh my god like you know she's like it's a whole week the rico crimes and this that and there and i was like i didn't understand what <laughs> was rico until i looked it up and i was like oh shit this is everything that i'm going through and then i started posting all the information and all my research of what I have been finding, and then I tagged them again. <laughs> I tagged all the fucking newspapers and everybody else. I'm like, yo, y'all gotta look at this. Do you know what, do you see this? Please look at the court case. Just look at it. Like, oh my God. Like, if they just look at it, if they read it, they're gonna see all this shit. And it's, it's all organized. It's all organized crime and they all stay quiet and they all do nothing because they're all in it. Everybody's in it and no one is doing anything about it. Uh, I, do your return offenders because you know, wherever there is criminal activity, there is black magic in place. Do your return offenders and send that energy back to wherever it came from. Whatever happens to them, it is not your problem. But whatever happens to them, that's the only way you're going to know who has been working against you because they're going to lie. Everybody's going to lie. I didn't do nothing to you. What? Oh, my God. But then your whole life is falling apart and you did nothing. Yeah, I'm supposed to believe that. You know, but I just wanted to talk about the RICO crimes, the RICO law, the RICO act. It's an act. That is from 1970, RICO, R-I-C-O. Look it up, like look it up. And it's just a whole bunch of shit. The Cornell University, the law, the legal teams. It's, it's a big, it's a big deal. Legal love, legal love, stay positive, be back.